wanted any of them to be scared. A child of 14 would take her own life because of bullying. I walked into that bedroom. I knew she was dead. It hurts even more sometimes. You think that something could have done to prevent it, but they did. Her life was threatened. What people frequently don't understand is they think they have to mean the threat. They think they have, if they say, I'm going to shoot you, they think in order to be guilty, you have to have an intention to go out and get the gun and shoot them. That's not the case. In my legal opinion, the charger should have been first degree murder based on a commission of a crime, which was uttering threats. And though people say, you know, sticks and stones can break my bones, but names will never hurt me. They sure hurt a couple of people, and, and a lot of people in. When people were bullying you, or when you saw people bully, bullying other people, what did you do? It's never easy to stand up for what's right, but it's easier to stand up for what's right when you don't know the person who's being the tormentor. Just a month before that, we came close to losing our son for the same reason. Bullying is always cold-blooded and intentional. It's a child who is intentionally trying to cause another child pain. Schools need, must, need, must, have to identify bullying as being able to occur in school and out of school. The thing, the thing in the writing that just really got to me was, I just want to die, 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 over and over and over and over and over down the page. Nothing would have changed if Don didn't die. I believe to this day it would still be the way it was. Now it's different and girls get charged. Remember.